tide tides, yes, the school year is coming to an end, and that means tons of events are happening. Remember, testing is over, but school isn't, so go to class. This Saturday is prom night, a fun night for all seniors, but please be careful not to have too much fun. Be in the back, trying to figure out what we've got. I am Mr. Grolitzer. I run the virtual school lab at Miami Beach Senior High School for students who are taking a course through Florida Virtual School and need to meet that requirement to graduate. Maki I is a reenactment of what would happen if someone was to get in a car with someone who's drinking, drunk, or texting, and how it can lead to severe injuries and or even death. It's a realistic program that shows what would really happen so the students can see that so they do not go out before, during, or after the prom, get drunk, and do something that will lead to death. The process is to get everyone in the community together. In the past, we had a community liaison. This year, it fell on me. You just had to make calls and get the police department and the fire department and all the agencies who've done in the past together. Each one has a role, the police department, the fire department, the paramedics, the funeral home will be out here uh, towing, and they each have a little part. The students work on a program that they're going to do a play that they're going to do in front of the students, and it's reality with real police officers, real paramedics, real people from the fire department, the funeral home out there with a coffin so the students can really see it. It's not just telling them what to do, but they're going to visually see what a real accident would entail. Point out that recently, last weekend, two students in New Jersey uh, who are leaving their prom got killed in a car accident. It may or may not have to be due, due with, with alcohol, but it still happens. If they have been doing this, there hasn't been one person hurt. So when you see it, it, it's impactful, as I said. It's one thing to say it, but when you visually see what can happen and a simulated death and they see it, it brings it home to the students. It brings reality. Please do not drink and drive. Do not text. One more time. Do not drink and drive. Do not text. Do not get in the car with someone who is impaired. Have a designated driver. Again, do not make the poor decision that will end your life or someone else's. Do not text, do not drink or drive, do not get in a car with someone who's impaired. Take their keys, save a life, do a wonderful thing. Thanks, Mr. Golitzer, and please be careful, High Tides. We have an amazing amount of talent here at Beach High, and this particular student is going to Washington, D.C. I'm Miss Money and I teach visual arts and AP art history. The Congressional Art Competition is a competition for students nationwide and each district in the country has students submit work. One student who wins has their work um, displayed in the Capitol building in Washington and they receive two free flights to go to the award ceremony in Washington. My name is Samuel Garshar and um, I am in ninth grade. I'm a freshman. I entered um, a project that was about uh, the black history. Uh, about, um, it was about uh, Robert Kennedy giving a speech of um, the congressional um, racial equality. That, that was uh, something that was happening back then. I won um, some tic uh, two tickets for Washington um, with, uh, with my mom. I've never participated in a competition before. Uh, in the country, like there's not a whole lot of opportunities as there is in here. Like uh, you just draw a drawing, nobody's gonna notice it. Uh, it's just gonna be like you know, just uh, oh yeah, you made a drawing. In the future, I'm gonna make, um, I'm gonna start uh, painting some drawings, and I'm, I'm actually uh, working on a comic uh, that I'm doing right now. And uh, but I actually want to to get more into um, what is uh, the abstract art, you know, uh, stuff that comes to your mind and stuff that uh, really not you know, like really normal. Congrats, Samuel Garayad. Art is awesome. Like we said before, prom night is this weekend, and we get to find out who our high tide king and queen will be. Hi, my name is Jordan Mitchell. I'm a senior here, and I'm running for prom queen, and, you know, I just ran for fun, so you want to vote for me, that's okay, and if not, it's fine too. So go high tides. Hi, my name is Julia Miller. I'm running for prom queen. <laughs> because I'm the baddest girl in this school. Hi, I'm the Asian Beavers, and I'm running for prom queen because, you know, I'm already queen, but I just want to make it official. Thank you, everybody, for your love and support. What's up? It's your boy, Martin Castillo, pouring live from Miami Beach Senior High. 
I'm running for prom king, you know what it is. The reason for that is because I'm the realest. So, you know, vote your boy for prom king. Hi, I'm Zoe. I'm running for prom king. And you should vote for me because um, my mom was prom king and I always wanted to be it too. So, vote for Zoe. What's up, it's your girl Knowledge Mel Anderson running for Prom Queen 2016. Catch me at the Deauville on Saturday. Okay, the reason why I want you guys to vote for me, why your vote matters so much, is because not only am I the sweetest girl in Beach High, but I'm also the cutest. And why not me win a prom court with my best friend Martin? So, vote for me! Hi, I'm Miss Bowen. I'm the Activities Director at Miami Beach Senior High. I'm very excited about the students that chose to run for Prom King and Queen. Uh, we're going to have an awesome prom court. Good luck to all of you. For the rest of you, looking forward to seeing those attending on Saturday at the Deauville for an awesome prom. Have a good weekend. Good luck to all of you. I don't know who to vote for. High Tides, have a safe and fun weekend.